A recent law passed by the Indiana General Assembly could help drivers who face hefty fines for tickets or maybe driving on a suspended license. Taylor Johnson, our newest reporter, is live in the newsroom to let us know how drivers could get the cost of those unpaid tickets cut in half. Taylor. Sadie, House Enrolled Act number 1141, or the Traffic Amnesty Program, could save qualifying drivers money. However, this program will not last long. Traffic Amnesty Program, which takes effect on July 1st, will help make it easier to get Indiana drivers back on the road. Starting December 31st this year until the end of 2020, Indiana drivers can pay outstanding balances or get their license reinstated for half the cost. However, those violations must have happened before January 1st of this year. Terre Haute City Attorney Eddie Felling says these fees can be thousands and thousands of dollars, making the program a great opportunity for drivers to save. Every time uh, you get certain types of uh, dings against your, your driver's license, you can rack up these reinstatement fees and oftentimes that's in the thousands and thousands of dollars. So obviously cutting that in half would be a huge benefit to uh, individuals that may be trying to get their license back. According to Indiana State Police, troopers come across drivers with suspended licenses and unpaid tickets on a daily basis. Sergeant Matt Ames says the program is just what the city needs to help everyday people who may not be able to afford the cost. It's people that are, have lower incomes and they need, a, they need a break. They've already paid all their legal fees, they paid their fines to the courts, and when it time, come time to get their driver's license through the state of Indiana, it was astronomical on how much money they would have to pay to the, to the Bureau of Motor Vehicles. Those who hope to get their cost cut will have to do so by filing a petition through the court. Certain documents would need to be on hand in order for the program to work in their favor. Felling says seeing a lawyer beforehand will help to avoid being denied, and there are options for those who cannot afford one. We have uh, some options here locally where we have certain days where you can come. Uh, it's called a pro se desk to talk to a lawyer. That would be a great opportunity. Now, if you owe child support, have an outstanding arrest warrant, or have been sentenced to pay restitution, you cannot participate in the program. Sadie? All right, now, Taylor, are there uh, plenty, are there any other possible roadblocks that participants may run into? City Attorney Spelling says unless someone falls into any of those categories that I just mentioned, they will not have to worry about being disqualified. 